Oh, yes. Tarnished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless, me, Vare. Take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace? The golden light that gives life to you tarnished. You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace, a path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm, indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. Grace? Oh, well, you made it through that entire mess, and off you trotted the bird. Oh, before the round table was chock full. I fear you've been terribly disappointed. I don't blame you. But why not earn a seat? Ah, then you're interested. To join the round table proper, you must acquire a great room and request with the two fingers. They are the purported masters of the Grayson. Yes. had your audience with the two what was your aha your intuition serves you well my doubts had been the words of the two fingers cannot be trusted truly naught but rambling seen i believe that when the elden ring was shattered the two fingers were corrupted their guidance skewed that's the part that uh oh i have a gift for you something fit a means for circumventing the draw of the two fingers give it a try won't you and if it please you may we meet i have high hopes for you my lambkin be sure to try that there's no reason to be tarnished were spurned by grace, forsaken by the two fingers. And your loyalties are... Enjoying my gift? Hmm. I knew it from the very start. You have a taste for noble blood. <clears throat> I wish to anoint you a proper inductee. A knight to serve Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood, and establish a new dynasty. Luminary Moog has strength, vision, and, of course, love. So, what do you say, my lambkin? Hmm, yes. Who would have it any other way? Now, take this.
for your final trial. Soak the cloth with a maiden's blood. Normally, this ritual would involve killing one's own maiden and recanting the wisdom of the two fingers. But since you are maidenless, the blood of anyone's maiden will do. completed your final trial, and with this, you are a formal inductee, a knight who will assist Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood, in the establishment of a new dynasty. Now, give me your finger. This noble blood will be an immutable badge of honor once it settles inside of you. Clench your teeth or something. <laughs> Never forget that feeling of agony, for it is what binds you to Luminary Moog, to all of us. <laughs> you have the sweetest scream, my lambkin. Oh, another thing. You should have this. A medal granted by the new Moguin dynasty. With the power to grant audience with Luminary Moog, I've gone out of my way to provide one to you. But you mustn't use it just yet. The meeting must wait until the Moguin dynasty commences. Luminary Moog yet slumbers beside the divinity. We must endure a little longer. Ah, it is trying. One day you will be elevated. Deserve right, my lambkin? <laughs>
seek violence. Heedless of my war, though you have been raised to a knight of the dynasty, I am pain to the very depths of my I'll ensure you regret this, my lambkin. Enjoy your miserable death. Dynasty with love. Uh, uh. 